So now that it is October, the holiday sets are definitely here. There were a few holiday launches in August and then a little bit more in September, but now that October is here, we are seeing holiday launches every single week, and I'm sure that will be the case as we head into December. So today I wanted to film a video on the best and worst value sets at Sephora. I did do part one, which I'll link in the description box below, but I'm back with part two because there have been so many launches since I filmed that video. Sometimes when it comes to holiday sets, you can get some really great deals, and what you pay is significant significantly less than what the kit is actually worth. And you know, sometimes it's just worth buying a kit because you can get minis. And if you're not going to finish up the full size product, it makes sense. But sometimes I think the kits are a really bad deal in terms of value and you're better off just skipping it or trying something else. So in these videos, I like to break it down for you. I do the math. I let you know which ones are worth it in terms of value, which ones are a bad deal. And I just like to put that out there so you can take into consideration which ones you might want to try. Sometimes the value Value with the value set just lies in the fact that you get multiple products or multiple shades rather than buying one full size product for the same price. And I totally get that. So you might not necessarily need to take into account like price per ounce and things like that. But I just like to be thorough because I feel like you should know what you're getting. And sometimes they attach a value to it that makes no sense. And sometimes there are really great deals. So let's just kind of go through these products and I'll share what I recommend, what I'm planning on trying, and then some that I would recommend skipping over to. Let's kick it off with Summer Fridays. They have two different kits that features their lip butter balm, which has gone absolutely viral. I feel like these are sold out all the time because people love this product and I tend to see it a lot on TikTok. Like people are just organically using it in their videos or they're raving about it. And it is a really nice product. I have one and I do enjoy it, but I will say it's a little bit overhyped. Anyway, there are two different sets. If you've been wanting to try it out and you want like a variety of options, you might go with one of these. The first one is just called the Lip Butter Balm Set. It's $49, but $72 in value. So these are normally $24. Like if you just purchased a full-sized version of this product, you'd spend $24. So basically for the price of two plus a dollar, you actually get three. So it's like buy two, get one free. So you get vanilla, which I think is basically like a clear cherry, which has a hint of red. And then the new iced coffee one, which is available exclusively to this set. I do think that will kind of cause people to jump on this because you can't get iced coffee anywhere else. I like the idea of this set if it didn't have the vanilla one. I'm not typically a fan of clear lip balms. Like I do think there is a place for a clear lip balm or a clear lip gloss and I will use them on occasion. But when it comes to like a high-end product like Summer Fridays, I'd rather have one that has like at least a hint of color because I do wear these when I'm on the go and I usually like for my lip balm to just kind of tint my lips. That being said, I think this one is a really good deal in terms of value. Sometimes high-end brands are really cheap and they won't do like a buy two, get one free value. They'll discount it a little bit, but not so much. So I was kind of surprised. I was kind of surprised to see Summer Fridays offer a really great deal like that. And I feel like it will sell out. Okay, the one that I'm more interested in trying that I think is a little bit more practical if you're not someone who needs like three full-size lip butters is their mini set. So this is $25. It comes with four minis. So each mini lip balm in here comes with five grams. The full size product comes with 15 grams for $24. So this breaks down to be about $8 per mini lip balm or $32 in total. I think this is an instance where the value comes in the fact that you get four minis for the price of one full size lip butter. If you're someone who likes to switch it up or you want to try different options without committing to like one full size product, this is really nice because you can basically pay the same price and get four minis. So again, you get vanilla base or no, you don't get vanilla on the other one. You get vanilla, which is like the clear one. They say to use it as an overnight mask or on top of lipstick. Vanilla beige is the one I have. It's a beautiful, like warm, lighter nude. You also get poppy, which is a sheer coral, and then brown sugar, which is a sheer brown. $25, I think, is a great deal. I'd rather do that than spend $25 on one and just get the chance to try multiple colors, multiple scents. So I might end up grabbing that one personally. I think I talked about a few of Sephora favorite sets in my last video. I think the Sephora favorite sets typically break down to be a really good deal when it comes to value because you get a high value for what you pay for, but on top of that, you get the chance to try out multiple products from different brands. And a lot of the time they include like very popular, hyped up bestsellers. So I do think they do a good job with their kits overall. There's one that I thought was a really great deal. The Sephora favorite set, this one is the Hair Styling All Stars. And I think with most of these, you're getting enough product that you can use it a few times to see if you enjoy the product enough to go out and purchase the full size version. Obviously that depends on how much hair you have and how much product you use. 
But I think this is a good deal. So you get the Amika Perk Up Talc-Free Dry Shampoo. That's something that I personally really want to try. It's about a two ounce bottle, so it's worth around $15. I've heard really good things about that dry shampoo and a lot of you say that you like it. So I do plan on trying that at some point, whether I purchase this kit or I grab something else. I think Amika actually has a kit where they do like a full size dry shampoo and a mini. So that could be worth checking out too. There was another product in here. Oh, everyone seems to be talking about the Color Wow Dream Coat. It's an anti-frizz treatment. I saw a hairstylist using this on Instagram and it just like completely smoothed out their client's hair. So that's something that I've been curious to try as well. You get the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. You also get the Olaplex number six, a Bumble and Bumble heat protectant, and then a whey detangler. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a hair care set. Let's talk about a few sets that I don't think are the best deal in terms of value. The first one is from Charlotte Tilbury. Now this one is not, the value is not inaccurate, but I feel like it's a little bit misleading. Like it could be well, let me just explain why. This is the Mini Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray Duo. It's $32, but $46 in value. So a mini does retail for $23. So yes, two minis is $46 in terms of value, but a full-size setting spray comes with significantly more product. And when you break it down price per ounce, it is a way better deal. Sometimes when it comes to minis, the price per ounce valuation is the same, like half the product for half the price. That's not always the case. Like sometimes a brand does charge significantly more price per ounce for a mini compared to the full size version. And I mean, I guess that makes sense. It kind of depends on the product when it is something that I will use up fully, like a setting spray, like that's not going to expire as quickly as a lip product or a blush. I think it makes more sense economically to go with the better deal price per ounce if I feel like I will go through it. So so a full size setting spray comes with 3.3 ounces. A mini comes with 1.1. Now this set does come with two minis. So you're getting 2.2 ounces, but for $6 more than the set of the value set, you actually get one and a half times more of the product. I guess more simply put, like a mini breaks down to be $16 an ounce and the regular setting spray is $12.66 an ounce. So that is a little bit of a savings if it is something you go through fast. I know some people use setting spray every single day and go through it kind of quickly. Maybe you haven't tried it and you're just curious to see if it works for you. In that case, the mini option might be a better deal. And honestly, if you want an even better deal, then go with the value size because for $51, you get almost seven ounces and it breaks down to be $7.61 an ounce. So literally less than half the price per ounce compared to the mini set. So that's a lot of math and maybe that doesn't really matter to you. But again, I just wanna throw it out there because if that is something you use up fully and you're going to end up repurchasing, it might make more sense just to grab the bigger size, especially with the Sephora VIB sale right around the corner because you can get a little bit of a discount anyway. Sometimes when I'm filming these videos, I'm like, oh, that's so nitpicky. Like, is that obnoxious to go through and do that? but I also feel like that's kind of the point of these videos for me is to really break it down fully so you can decide whether or not it's worth the cost to you. Maybe you have, you know, the extra money in your budget and that doesn't make a difference to you, but maybe you don't. It's everything is so expensive these days and maybe you're looking to treat yourself, but you really want a good deal. So that's why I do it, not necessarily with the goal of just being, you know, super nitpicky. And I just, I hope it doesn't come across that way. Okay, so when it comes to this next brand, I haven't tried any of their products. So to be fair, maybe they are amazing. Maybe they are the best of the best and they really are worth their higher price point. But at the same time, I almost wonder if this brand kind of relies on like unique packaging, something a little bit different to sell their products because what I've noticed is they don't always have like a very large amount of product for the price. So this is the brand Simi Haze. This is their mini velvet blur matte lipstick balm set. It's $39. They're claiming it's $53 in value, which is not quite accurate. So if you were to purchase a full-sized Simi Haze lipstick, you get three grams for $36. That's a really expensive lipstick. I was going through just to kind of compare to other brands, but again, Maybe their products are amazing. The packaging is interesting. This set comes with two minis, one gram each. So that breaks down to be $24 of value, which is really confusing because they're actually charging $39. So you're not even getting what you pay for with this kit. That being said, they do sell their mini lipsticks for $24. 
So if you're going based on that price point, then it's worth 48. But again, they're still saying it's $53 in value. This doesn't make any sense to me. I would absolutely skip over this unless you love this formula. I was reading through the reviews and people were saying it basically felt like a sample size lipstick. Remember when brands would include like those tiny samples that you would get and you could use it like once just to see if you liked the formula? People are saying that's basically what it's like. I don't know why their mini lipsticks are so expensive, like why they're charging $24 when the amount of products you get in there is only worth 12. Maybe it's because their packaging is so big. And I think when I picked it up in person, like it felt pretty solid, pretty heavy. So nice packaging does cost more. I mean, obviously brands have to take that into account, but I think for the amount of products you're getting in those minis, the price point is just way off. And what you're paying for that kit isn't even worth it, in my opinion. So I wouldn't recommend picking that one up. I would say go with a different brand. A lot of brands are doing lipstick kits and you can get some really good deals and some really good quality too. I actually think this next kit is even worse. I really wouldn't recommend picking this one up. It is the Too Faced Let It Snow Globe Makeup Collection. It is a limited edition set featuring three individually packaged palettes. They are scented face and eye palettes. And I mean, they are cute. Too Faced obviously has very, very cute packaging. Each one has eight shades and then one cheek product. And to be honest, in the past when I've tried these, like even though the packaging was super cute, the quality was never that great. And I know some people don't like Too Faced anyway, but I do think their regular launches, like their permanent eyeshadow palettes, are a lot better than these have been for me in the past. They have to use different quality ingredients or like a full on different manufacturer for these palettes because they just don't feel the same. So they're claiming that this is a $306 value, which is honestly just funny because that would imply that each palette is worth $102. There is no way on earth that a Too Faced holiday palette, especially like a smaller palette like these, like you're not even getting a ton of product in here, is worth anywhere near $100. You're not getting much product in here. Each palette comes with 3.8 grams of product. And to be fair, like eyeshadow is not something I go through super quickly, but just for reference, their new maple syrup palette is also $54. So the same exact price for one palette, but this palette comes with 18 grams of product. So you're getting twice as much product for the same price. And honestly, I'm guessing a significantly better value just based on my experience with the Too Faced holiday palettes in the past. This video is not all negative. I want to talk about some really great sets too. So Fenty, I think they have some of the most highly anticipated sets every year. They are going to be launching, or you know what? I think they actually did launch a few additional ones that I'm not talking about in this video that I might touch on later, but they did launch a few lip gloss sets. So the first one is the Glossy Posse Volume 6 Full Size Gloss Bomb Trio. It's $42, but $69 in value. Fenty's lip glosses actually come with a lot of product. You get 0.3, oun 0 .3 ounces in each. I have a few glosses in front of me, let's see. So this one from Say actually comes with 0.17 fluid ounces. So about half, a little more than half. This one from Milk Makeup comes with 0.2 fluid ounces. So about a third. Fenty lip glosses just have a lot of product in them. So that's why I'm a big fan of like mini Fenty gloss bomb sets because I feel like that is something that I just never finish up fully. But this set comes with three full size glosses. So you get Fenty Glow, Pink Dragonfly, and then Glass Slipper Heat. Based on what I saw when I looked it up, Pink Dragonfly was a limited edition set exclusive in the past. And then the other two are permanent. So there is a chance you might have those. But if not, and all three of those shades appeal to you, that's a really good deal because again, their lip products last forever. I'm just gonna take some of this Say gloss and apply it on top because I've been talking so much. Fenty also launched their Gloss Bomb Vault, which comes with 10 full size glosses. This comes with so much product. So it's $150, but $229 in value. And again, the value does check out. So this is a really good deal if you were to break it down, like price per product. I think this is something that could be really fun to split with someone to maybe purchase as a gift and give to people in your life. Although that is like an expensive set of lip glosses but still a good deal if you were to compare it to purchasing all of them separately. So there are some new shades that are exclusive to this set specifically, and then some best-selling shades as well. Anyway, I think, you know, even though this is a good deal in terms of value, it really comes down to whether or not you feel like you need 10 full-size glosses from Fenty. If it is your favorite formula ever, if you don't have a lot of those shades, it might be worth it to you. But I, I kind of wish they did like a mini set of those because I think their minis are great. I have minis 
that I got in previous holiday sets that I'm still working through because you get so much product in their lip glosses. But I do think that could be a fun option. Okay, one brand that I think did a really good job on their sets this year is Milk Makeup. Not that they're necessarily like the most interesting sets, but if these are products you were going to purchase anyway, you're getting a really good deal when it comes to value. So the first one is their Lip and Cheek Cream Blush Set. So it's $25, but $48 in value. So they did do two different sets. So there is like a lighter, softer set, and then a little bit of a deeper set, which I love to see. And each one comes with two full sets sized cream cheek products. You can also use them on the lips too. These sets basically break down to like buy one, get one free. So if you were planning on purchasing one anyway, you might as well take a look at the colors to see if there is a duo that really jumps out at you because for the price of one, you can get two. And I do think the sets are kind of fun. So I like that they did a really good deal when it comes to these. I mean, the product itself is pretty small and I know people have been complaining about the fact that Milk Makeup used to sell like bigger products. I think specifically when it came to their bronzers. And now they charge the same price or maybe even a little bit more for like a really small product. They look like samples, but they're not. Like you get enough product in there to last for a while. So again, I think it's nice they included two for the price of one, especially because you used to be able to get like a really big product for that price. They also did two different like primer setting spray kits. So the first one is the Hydro Grip Primer and Dewy Setting Spray Set. It's $40, but $62 in value. So the reason why I like this kit is basically for the price of the primer, you also get a mini setting spray and a makeup a bag in addition to the primer. I think it's two more dollars than the primer, so the primer plus two dollars, but it's kind of nice because if you are a fan of the Hydro Grip Primer and you need to repurchase it, you might as well get this kit because you get a mini setting spray and a makeup bag in addition to it. I will say I love the Hydro Grip Setting Spray though. I use it both as a primer and then sometimes as a setting spray if I want like a dewy look. And it is a setting spray that I actually go through fully kind of quickly because it is so good. It doubles as a primer as well. And it does do a good job of locking my makeup into place and just leaving my skin feeling super refreshed, really, really hydrated. They also basically did the same thing with their Pore Eclipse Primer. So their Pore Eclipse Primer is also $38. So for $38 plus two, 40, you get a mini setting spray as well and then the makeup bag on top of that. Okay, Kosas did a set of mini lipsticks. This one, you know, one thing about Kosas is they'll do a value set, but you don't end up saving a lot. Like if you were to break this one down, I mean, I did break this one down. It's a $27 value for 25. It's the mini most wanted nude lipstick set. I think again, the value when it comes to lip product sets is the fact that you get multiple shades rather than one full-size product and one of their lipsticks retails for 26 so basically you're paying like a dollar less to get three minis and the amount of product in there I think adds up to one full-size product right around there honestly I feel like they could have charged a little bit less for this like maybe they should have charged what would two minis be like $18 that way you're getting two minis and you're basically getting one free so not necessarily the best deal in terms of value but again, when it comes to lip products, I would rather have like minis and have more of a variety than one full size product, especially when it comes to Kosas because their products do tend to expire a little more quickly. They are clean beauty brands, so they don't necessarily use the same preservatives that a lot of other brands do. And I've heard people saying their products go bad so fast. I personally haven't really had that experience with the brand, but I've heard about it enough that I, I'm sure it happens. Anyway, I've heard good things about the formula. I think the colors they chose are pretty. I think when it comes down to value, there are other brands who did it a little bit better. But if you wanted to try that formula and you were kind of nervous that your lipstick might not last forever, like that it might go bad, all lipsticks go bad, but that it might go bad faster than other brands, the mini set might actually be the way to go. Okay, that's everything I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Keep in mind, in the end, you know, whether or not something is a good deal kind of comes down to whether or not you'll use the products or all of the shades within a kit. If you think something is a great deal and you're only saving a dollar or two, maybe it is worth checking out. It totally comes down to personal preference and just lifestyle and how you like to wear your makeup products. I just want to be able to steer you in the direction of products that you know, are worth checking out. Like 
if I, I don't want you to get ripped off in the end. Makeup is really expensive and there are some really good deals happening this time of the year. So if a brand launches something and it's not a great deal, I just want to be able to point that out so you can save some money if that's something you're looking to do. But I really appreciate you being here. I'll definitely film a part three because I'm sure there will be more kits coming out soon. And I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.